For years, lithium-ion batteries dominated the electric car scene, but that era appears to be coming to an end. And the Tesla Model 2 is accelerating this shift. Elon Musk has finally revealed a plan that promises to change the energy base of the entire electric vehicle fleet. Two new battery technologies that could put an end to lithium-ion's main problems once and for all. We're talking about lithium-ion cells, aluminum-ion and sodium-ion. Two solutions that, at first glance, sound like something out of a laboratory of the future. The promise? Charging in minutes, lasting decades, and virtually eliminating maintenance. What once seemed impossible is about to redefine what affordable car means and transform the Model 2 into a game changer in the history of electric mobility. Sodium batteries are the first surefire way to achieve this dominance of lithium. They stand out for not relying on expensive or scarce minerals, and their performance is impressive. A 75 kiloliter pack can deliver between 300 and 350 miles of autonomy, with full charging in just 15 minutes, and the best part? With a useful life of up to 122, 12 years old before needing a replacement, Model 2 owners will practically forget about battery degradation. The salt-based chemistry prevents overheating, eliminating complex cooling systems, and also reduces the car's weight and overall cost. It's a change that hits the industry's most sensitive issue, its dependence on lithium and its volatile prices. But it's the aluminum ion battery that really leaves experts speechless. In it, the ions are smaller and carry three electrons at once, allowing an absurd loading rate, 20C, that is, full recharge in seven minutes. This means that a simple coffee can be enough to get your car ready for another trip. And it's not just the speed that's impressive. The durability is almost unbelievable. Thousand hours to 10,000 charge cycles, the equivalent of 20 or even 25 years of continuous use with less than 10% capacity loss. In practice, it's a battery that can last longer than the car itself. The secret behind this performance lies in replacing flammable liquid solvents with acylene ionic gel, a type of electrolyte that doesn't evaporate even at 250 degrees C. This simple change eliminates the main problem with current batteries. The buildup of residue on the electrodes, known as SEI, solid electrolyte interface, which typically reduces charge capacity over time. Without this barrier, the ion flow remains stable for decades, ensuring efficiency, safety, and consistent performance. In other words, the Model 2 may age, but its battery will continue to perform as if it were fresh from the factory. The practical advantage of all this is that the average driver will finally be able to charge fast, without guilt. There will no longer be concerns about excessive heat or wear and tear from frequent recharging. This freedom completely changes people's relationship with electric cars, from an experience limited by time and infrastructure to something as simple as refueling a combustion vehicle, only much cleaner and cheaper. Tesla wants the Model 2 to be the first electric car that does not require adaptation, but rather invites anyone to enter this new era without fear. Besides speed and durability, there is another silent but gigantic impact. The cost per kilowatt hour of these new batteries is even 60% smaller than conventional lithium ion batteries. This not only makes the car itself cheaper, but also makes mass production more viable and sustainable. Aluminum and sodium are abundant, found virtually everywhere on the planet. This reduces dependence on fragile and politically tense supply chains, especially with China, which currently dominates the lithium and nickel markets. In other words, Tesla is charting a path to technological independence that could reconfigure the global map of the automotive industry. Another point that draws attention is the environmental impact of these batteries. Unlike lithium, which is expensive and destructive to extract, aluminum and sodium can be obtained in a cleaner and more recyclable way. This positions the Model 2 not only as an efficient car, but as a symbol of true sustainability, which doesn't trade one environmental problem for another. 
The closed recycling system allows for the reuse of almost 98% of the materials after decades of use. It's a double win. Performance and environmental awareness go hand in hand. The combination of these two technologies creates unprecedented flexibility. Tesla can adapt Model 2 versions to suit the market, using sodium ion for warmer, more urban areas, and aluminum ion for those seeking maximum range and longevity. This modularity transforms the very way we think about electric vehicle production. The company isn't just creating a new type of battery, but a versatile energy ecosystem ready to power everything from small cars to entire fleets and residential systems. And it's at this point that Model 2 stops being just a product and begins to represent a new chapter in the energy revolution that's about to begin. While the new batteries promise to transform the Model 2's range and durability, what underpins it all under the hood is just as revolutionary. The new GigaCast unibody chassis. Instead of assembling hundreds of parts and welding them together like a jigsaw puzzle, Tesla decided to fuse the chassis and battery compartment together. A single solid piece using an absurd amount of pressure, 50,000 tons, this process, known as unboxing, is like sculpting the entire skeleton of the car in one fell swoop. The impact goes far beyond aesthetics or practicality. We're talking about a leap in structural efficiency that changes the rules of the automotive engineering game. The material used in this monoblock is not just any ordinary metal alloy. It is a compound with 90% aluminum, 7% silicon, and 3% magnesium, heat treated to a level of strength typical of aircraft and rockets. The same alloy is already used in SpaceX's Starship rockets, for a simple reason, does not crack, even under absurd stresses. This robustness now hits the streets with the Model 2, creating a car that can withstand impact, torsion, and vibration far more easily than any other vehicle in its class, and even outside it. The torsional rigidity of the new chassis is impressive, 5,000 newton meters per degree, nearly 30% higher than Model 3 and more than double of a traditional car like the Corolla. In practice, this means the car doesn't squirm or vibrate when going over potholes, cornering at high speeds, or braking suddenly. It keeps its structure firm, as if glued to the ground. This rigidity also improves handling reduces noise, and better protects occupants in collisions. It's like driving a sleek, fast tank, where everything feels stable, even in the chaos of traffic. Another positive side effect of this approach is the massive cost-cutting on the production line. By eliminating about 400 parts and 800 welds, Tesla manages to reduce the price of each Model 2 unit by up to 400 only in the structure. This not only makes the car more accessible, but also drastically reduces mechanical failure points. Fewer bolts, fewer welds, less risk of something loosening or breaking over time. And because the part is cast in a single mold, the quality standard is always the same. Without the variations common in vehicles assembled in stages, this monoblock casting also transforms the battery in the structural part of the vehicle and no longer a simple fitted component. Now, it's the floor itself, which reduces weight, improves the center of gravity, and enhances safety. In frontal or side collisions, the impact spreads more efficiently throughout the entire structure, protecting occupants much more effectively. It's as if the battery itself becomes a shield, invisibly but powerfully shielding the car's interior. In accident situations, this unique structure also helps the car to absorb and dissipate energy more intelligently. Because there are no multiple connections between parts, the impact is distributed more evenly, avoiding weak points. Simulations and crash tests show that the Model 2 can withstand impacts equivalent to a large SUV at high speeds without deforming the central passenger cell. This is extremely rare for a car in the $10,000 range, something that, until now, seemed reserved only for luxury sedans or rugged SUVs. And if the structure is already strong, the lightweight construction makes performance even sharper. The aluminum chassis is lighter than steel, 
which reduces energy consumption, improves acceleration, and increases range. When combined with the new battery system, this creates an impressive synergy. The car consumes less fuel, goes further, and even delivers greater safety. It's as if each part of the Model 2 was designed to multiply the benefits of the others, creating a whole that goes beyond the sum of its parts. This mindset of total integration, where each component serves more than one function, is what sets the Model 2 apart from any other affordable vehicle on the market. Tesla is creating something that looks simple on the outside, but is packed with power on the inside. Rocket technology adapted for asphalt, and by making all this possible with a single piece, cast in seconds, production time drops dramatically. It's this solid foundation that enables the next leap, an even more precise and reliable autonomous driving system powered by sensors that rely on this structure like a body relies on a skeleton. With a solid and virtually unbreakable structural foundation, the next logical step was to improve the car's brain. And that's where the Model 2's new self-driving system comes in. Elon Musk decided to tackle one of Tesla's most annoying problems, the phantom braking. Anyone who's owned a Model 3 or Model Y knows the drama. The car suddenly brakes for no apparent reason, causing frights and increasing the risk of rear-end collisions. Now, with the Model 2, this error has been redesigned to become a thing of the past, thanks to a multi-layered perception system that forces sensors to think together. Yitis. The magic begins with FSD V14, the new version of full self-driving, which not only gained a new brain, but also a new sensory body. They are 12 high-resolution 360-degree cameras, in addition to millimeter radar, ultrasonic sensors, and, for the first time in a popular car, a short-range lighter. This means the Model 2 can see its surroundings much more accurately, comparing different types of readings, vision, distance, depth, and even texture. The car literally sees like an attentive living being, cross-referencing all information in real time before making any decisions. But just seeing it isn't enough. What really brings this system to life is the new chip A15, which has 10 times more parameters than the previous generation. It's like going from a pocket calculator straight to a supercomputer. This power allows you to run an algorithm three-layer cross-checking. The camera identifies an object, the radar confirms the distance, and the AI decides whether it is indeed an obstacle. If any reading doesn't match, the car ignores it and continues on. This avoids unnecessary braking and creates a fluidity in driving previously only seen with experienced humans. The system is still learning from the real world. All the data collected by thousands of Model 2s in testing around Austin, Texas, is being processed by a central neural network. This network is capable of simulating unpredictable scenarios, such as chaotic intersections, distracted pedestrians, heavy rain, or sudden traffic jams. With this massive training, the AI not only reacts, but also anticipates the behavior around. Instead of being startled by a shadow or a poorly placed sign, the car understands the context and makes more human decisions, just without distraction or fatigue. In Tesla's internal tests, conducted in more than 180,000 km of power steering, the new Model 2 FS eliminated 100% of phantom braking cases. This not only improves the driver experience, but also reduces brake wear, increases passenger comfort, and, most importantly, prevents unnecessary collisions. And because the system is automatically updated over the air, OTA, it gets smarter over time, as if the car grows older and wiser, the opposite of what happens with most technology products. Another noteworthy detail is how the system adapts to each user's driving style. The AI memorizes routines, preferred speeds, schedules, and even driving style. If a user tends to drive more cautiously or more quickly, the FSD adjusts its responses accordingly. It's no longer generic software controlling the car, but ACO Pilot who learns from the owner, creating a personalized and more predictable experience. 
This increases trust in automation, an essential step toward mass acceptance of autonomous driving. Furthermore, this new layer of intelligence also helps drivers better navigate complex urban situations. At poorly marked intersections, the car independently scans pedestrians and vehicles, adjusting its route without braking. On highways, the system adjusts the safety distance in real time, taking into account the behavior of surrounding cars, not just the speed limit. This situational sensitivity, it's what transforms the Model 2 from an assisted vehicle into a true driving partner, something that's still missing from much of the competition. With an armored chassis and a learning brain, the Model 2 positions itself as one of the first affordable vehicles to offer real autonomy with practical safety. But the secret to maintaining this performance on the street lies in the physical details. And that's precisely where the tires, suspension, and even the doors come in. Every part has been redesigned to enhance this new driving experience, ensuring that the car's body keeps pace with the system's intelligence. Now that the Model 2 has the intelligence to anticipate obstacles and the structure to withstand severe impacts, it was inevitable that Tesla would also reinvent the physical points of contact with the real world, literally, where the rubber meets the asphalt. Starting with the tires, the brand partnered with Bridgestone to create a new generation of Terranza Home, custom-made for this model. They are wheels of 19 inches, larger than the standard 17 or 18 of most compacts, which provides more ground contact area, improving grip, braking, and weight distribution. The difference, however, is in the compound used in these tires. An eraser infused with graphene, an extremely strong, flexible, and nearly waterproof material. This technology, previously exclusive to supercars, is now available for the first time in a popular electric vehicle. The result is 37% greater durability compared to conventional tires. What's more, the groove design simulates the effect of a lotus leaf, repelling water, snow, and mud extremely effectively, drastically reducing the risk of hydroplaning. It's almost as if the tires have a natural self-cleaning system. And if the tires impress, the aerodynamic wheel covers hair no slouch either. Inspired by feedback from early Cybertruck owners, these covers aren't just there for the futuristic look. They're made of lightweight plastic composite, which reduces air drag by up to 10%, enough to increase autonomy by 20 to 30 kilometers per load. In addition, they protect the axle against dirt, salt, and rust, extending the life of the suspension and internal components, all without requiring constant maintenance. But comfort and safety also come from below. Tesla equipped the Model 2 with intelligent adaptive suspension, based on a patent filed by the company in 2024. Instead of traditional pneumatic systems, the car uses electromagnetic dampers that respond to the soil in just 10 milliseconds. This means that when it detects potholes or speed bumps ahead, the system adjusts the stiffness and lifts the car up to 5 centimeters 7 before the wheel touches the obstacle. It's as if the vehicle predicts the impact before it happens. This system is powered by sensors and cameras that scan the asphalt in real time, analyzing information from up to 10 mihad, tinatrifenindi to 10 meters ahead with the help of GPS and radar. In tests, vibration inside the car dropped from 2.5 